Hey, welcome back. Have you ever wanted to execute dark mode on your website? I'm not talking about switching off the lights and unplugging your power. And I'm not referring to how you can change the WordPress settings so you can go from it looking like this to have it looking with a dark red color or yellow, blue, green, all of that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the ability on your admin or the actual website to literally switch from light mode to dark mode. You know when you're looking at your phone sometimes and it's late at night or the light's not really good for your eyes, you can switch to a dark mode on your phone to make things appear a little bit clearer. Well, guess what? You can do that with a free plugin. There is a pro version where you get loads more facilities and features, but there is a free version which I'm gonna be testing out here. I'm not affiliated to this plugin. It's something I've come across and I wanted to do a review just to show you how I think it could be useful for you. I'm talking about the Droit Dark Mode plugin. Just do a search for Dark Mode or Droit in plugins and you will find it. And I'm going to install it now and then activate it. And by the way, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, share, follow, and most importantly, subscribe to our videos to keep in touch with stuff about Elementor, WordPress to help you, your clients, and your business. So once we've activated it, we're gonna go into the settings for the dark mode. And we have some general settings. So do we want to enable front mode, dark mode? Hmm, why not? Let us do that. What about enable default dark mode? I'm probably gonna say no. We'll allow the facility for you to switch back and forth, but we will not set it as a default so I can show you our example website and what happens when we switch to dark mode. What about backend? Enable backend. Yeah, I would say we do want to have it. Why not? We can switch it back and forth and see what it looks like. We have color one and we have color two. Now it doesn't actually tell me at the moment what color one and color two is. So I'm just going to leave it as default for now. I'm not going to go for every setting. That is something you can do in your own time because it is free to use. But let's just see what the default is. Let's save the settings. Go jing. Let's go to display settings. Okay. So this is now where we decide how do we want it to look in terms of the switching mechanism. Now some of these obviously I cannot pick unless we go for the premium or the pro version. But we do have this um, like, you know, like um, half moon, you know, uh, well, it's like a half moon symbol, isn't it? White or black. Or we have a button to go from light to dark. Now I quite like I think both of these buttons are quite nice in their own right. I would say that this might make more sense to some people who don't know what the button does. They might not realize that's a button. They might see it and think, well, do I click it or not? If I saw that, I would click it because I'd be like, oh, I wonder what you are. But let's just go for that and see how that looks on the website. What about the position? Set the switch position in the body of your website. Yeah, okay. So why don't we go for the, I'll tell you what, Let's go for the bottom right. Let's go for the bottom right. So I'll have to move myself out the way because it will probably be round about roughly where my finger is now, down there. We've got to click that bit there, okay? Um, there are lots of other features here where we can decide on the page position or if you want to have custom CSS. Um, but I would say that you're going to do in the pro version, we're just doing the free version because I just want to show you what you get out the bag out the door, out the bag, which way, you know, out the bag. Um, advanced settings, now a lot of these are pro, okay, and that's kind of does make sense, to be honest. You know, um, would you want this facility available on a WooCommerce product, for instance? Um, add dark switch to primary menu. You know, and I would say these are extra features, which I think are gonna be really useful if you really wanna play with what you get out of it. And you can go to the demo site to see what they're talking about. Preset color. Ah, this is color one and color two. So color one is like a uh, black and white. Color two is black with red. Now black with red makes sense. It is, it's black red sometimes is a little bit difficult to read sometimes. So I'm gonna leave it as default, which I bet is gonna be color one. There are lots of other color options available. However, you gotta go premium for them. So let's just click save, make sure it's on color one. Dark image. So this now, dark image, replace image when dark mode. Ah, ha, right, I get this. Now this is pro. And I would have liked if this was on the free. What this means is if you've got an image and it's got a white background on the image and you've got a white header and you go to dark mode, will the header go dark? Well, we'll see. But then if that goes dark, what about the logo? The logo will probably still have the white image. 
and you kind of go, well, you know, how that, how is that going to look presentation wise? And then you might say, well, if someone's gone to dark mode, they're going to have to accept that things won't look as good because they've switched into a dark mode. But if you were to go for the pro version, you could pro you could replace the image. Now, I just want to make a point here, though. If we just go to get pro, what are the costs? Just so that we're aware of it. OK, so the dark mode, the pricing. Do, 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 do. Here we go. So it's twenty nine dollars for one website. Um, you get all the features. And that is a lifetime usage for one domain. So $29 lifetime. And I feel like if you really like it and you really want to go for it, that's a bargain. But like I've said to you, the agency, if you're, if you're doing this for yourself, go for the pro. If you are an agency building lots of websites, go for the ultimate. $99, right? Unlimited sites. So when you sell this onto your client, you charge them $25. So they get a discount, but then you're making quite a bit of profit. Eventually, you just got to do four of them and you've already made your money back and then you start to make profit. So have a think about what you want to go for. I'm not a salesperson. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just showing you what this does. Right. It's a dark image, time based. So this is now where, ah, so after a certain amount of time, it switches to dark mode. There may be reasons why you want to do that. Um, but I'm quite happy with the free version at the moment. OK, so this has all been activated. If I move my mouse or if I just move over here at the moment, I don't see any buttons at all anywhere. I'm just going to go in and hit the optimize button or to optimize, purge my cache, etc. And just make sure I did go to enable front end, enable back end dark mode as well. Uh, let's just go with color one. Just make sure that is all set. Yeah, OK. And then we go to dashboard. OK, so well, as I'm now viewing my dashboard at the moment, there is no button on here. If I go to one of my home pages now, by in mind, this is a fake website. OK, this is where we do all of our testing. So don't sit there going, ah, oh, sorry, there it is. I've just missed it. Let's go back a step. Let's go back a step. I rushed it. Let's not rush it. OK. So at the moment on here, on my actual Elemental website in edit mode, can you see here we've got the the button, dark and light mode. Let's click the dark mode. Whoa, look at that. It has switched to dark mode. Um, I mean, obviously now you can see that I had one section going off all the way, like a column going all the way across. So it's cut over the image. Remember what I said about the logo? If you've got a white background on the logo and it wasn't a transparent logo, you're going to get that problem with images, but you kind of have to accept that. But it's literally put it all into light mode. It hasn't come, it hasn't put the text over here into pure white, but I think that's going to be something down to the fact that I had a gray font anyway. Let's just switch it back again and let's now go back a step to our actual WordPress dashboard. And if I now click over here, what? this is kind of cool, don't you think? I think this is like really, really cool. You see, can you see the colors have completely changed by Dolph? This is quite cool, I think. So what does it look like when you go to an actual live website? So let's just uh, log out and let's get rid of all of this seriously disgusting icon text. There we go. Right. So we kind of know what's going to happen, right? When I click over here, it's going to change like so. So I can now view the website late at night and the text isn't going to overall hurt my eyes now. What happens if I go to, say, the blog page? And we'll go to the dark mode again. There you go. What about the shop page? This should go to a completely, no, it doesn't go to that page. I'm trying to remember where I go. If I click that, no, it's not that. It's electric. I want to, there's another web page I've got on here that I just want to test out. If I go electric, we go to the electric website. So in light mode, it looks like this. OK, and it's a transparent text. OK, and it's all right. If I go to dark mode, the header has gone black. Now here, it doesn't matter much because it was a quite a dark looking website anyway. But this is quite neat. And I do think that I'm, I'm liking this effect because I can imagine. I mean, just look here at the logo when we get to this bit here. Dark mode, like magic. We just put all of the dark art matter into it. Severus Snape would be proud. This is quite funky and cool. And it's free. Tons more features on the pro version, but for free. gar -ching. This is really, really cool. Droid dark mode. Go get it. It's free. And um, 
It doesn't affect performance. It's really, really cool. It's light. I like it. I love it. So I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon.